Hello, viewers, welcome. Question number 12A of Just Ended WASI 2023 June question paper. In a diagram, P, Q, R, and S are point on the circle with the center being O. The line Q, R is parallel to the line O, S. The angle Q, O, R, Q, O, R is given as what? 2M. The angle QPR, Q, QPR is given as N. Then the angle SOR, SOR is given as what? 54. So we have to find the value of M and N in the diagram. So this is under circle word theorem. So we need to bring into bear some of the known theorems to be able to provide answer to this question. So beginning with the parallel lines, if QR and OS are parallel, then the line RO is a transverse, which makes the angle here QRO to be equal to the angle what, 54. That's the first one to begin with. So I will say that since this is a parallel line, I can say the angle ROS is equal to the angle ORQ, ORQ, and that will be equal to what? 54 degree. So as soon as this angle is known, then I have to combine this and this to be able to find the M. But what property again is there? If O is the center and QO becomes the radius, because a line from the center to the circumference is a radius. So if QO is a radius, then RO will also be a radius because it's also from the center to the circumference. That makes the triangle, triangle O, QR to be what? An isosceles. Become an isosceles triangle. And if it is an isosceles, then it means the base angles are also going to be equal. So right here will also be 54. So I can say the angle, the one I just found, which is ORQ, is equal to OQR, which is also going to be what? 54 degree. So we now we can see that one, two, three combined together form what? A triangle. So I'll be adding that angle, which will be the angle ORQ plus the angle OQR plus the given angle, which is what? 2M to give us what? 180. What is that? The sum of the angles, interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So since I know these two angles being equal to 54, right away, 54 plus 54 plus 2M should give us what? 180 degree. Fast forward, 108 plus 2M equals to 180. Let's subtract 108 from both sides. We have 2M equals to 180 minus 108. So this gives us 72, right? So we divide by 2, divide by 2, M will give us what? 36 degree. Meaning the value of M is 36 degrees. So we know that. Now we have to focus on the value of N. Then I have to look at the chord QR. What angle is produced by the chord? The angle produced by the chord is 2M and N. Can you see that? That property that says that the angle produced by a chord at the center is twice the one at the circumference. You know, this is the circumference. The circumference is at the P. So this angle is what? Uh, half of this. Meaning this 2M is twice this. Following that property, I can say that the angle 2M is equal to twice of the one at the circumference. The one at the center is two times the one at the circumference. So here we have over 2 over 2. So M 
will be equal to n and that will be equal to what 36 degrees you know since m is 36 and it is equal to this therefore the value of n will also be 36 what degree that is using the properties of circle word theory i believe that is correct looking at the diagram very well taking into consideration the first uh, uh, geometry one rules then the second geometry i think we can be able to provide answer to this thank you for watching share this video with somebody like and comment bye bye